<laughs> Come on, one, two, three, come on. Good morning, everyone. Friday morning. This is our first official game day and I slept pretty well. Chris and I ended up staying pretty late talking volleyball, which is pretty normal. Got a bunch of volleyball junkies in the same room talking volleyball forever. But these beds are super comfy and also this portable Tempur-Pedic pillow that I bought. Definitely worth it. Very miniature, fits into a little bag. So I'm really happy I made that purchase because a lot of times when you travel and sleep and my neck feels funny because you never know what type of pillow you're going to get. All right, Chris, how'd you sleep? It was good. Grant always gets us the best hotel rooms. Definitely a comfortable place to stay while we play in a long, tiring tournament. That's yes, <laughs> indeed. So Hyatt, if you're listening, if you want to sponsor our team, we're down to promote you. This is a good product. We're gonna go get our Regency Club breakfast upstairs and then probably go a little early, take my time to warm up, mobilize, foam roll. And we got a ref first at 2 p.m. and then we play right after. And then we're gonna figure out who's gonna play libero for the first one. Julian offered to play libero, so we'll see which combination is gonna be best for our team. So when we're upstairs, a sympathetic man who saw us be very sad about missing the food said, we should try talking to the front desk to see if we can get a voucher to get a discount at their local store, which has really good food there. And we just got hooked up. I think this is, what, 20% off? 20% off, yeah. 20% off. Pays to have good customer service. There's the market. I'm going to get that turkey and bacon sandwich there. That looks good. So we're traumatized. We came back here looking for some free stuff. They actually have some cereal. Definitely gonna take advantage of that. Orange juice, milk, and we did buy this downstairs. Turkey, bacon, sandwich. Look at that pool, that's crazy. You got a water slide. What hotel has a water slide here? Hopefully this tastes as good as it looks. That should give you a lot of turkey. I chose it because it's packed with protein and the cheese is melted, so I did a good job. It is that time of the tournament. Time to activate the Elevate Poop program. It's 100% off all the time. Jump two inches higher in two minutes, depending on how long it takes. Easy inches on your vertical. So packed in, getting ready for going to the convention center. I like to lay everything out so I don't forget anything. Bring the GoPro. Deciding if I want to bring this because we got to walk there, so it's pretty heavy. Got the Go Sleeve knee sleeves, calf sleeves, portable charger. This is the upper echelon collagen supplement that I like to take before I play to make sure that tendons are good. Vibrating foam oil from Hyper Ice. Three jerseys, even though we're only wearing one today, it's always good to pack extras in case someone forgets theirs and we got to change. Two Gatorades, two smoothies for in between games, the protein shake. Even though it's hot today, I like to wear leggings because my legs cool down very easily, so I gotta stay warm in between games. And we're gonna have a short meeting to figure out what our lineup's gonna look like with Brant and Julian and Chris. Hopefully we can figure out a combination that's gonna work well today. So we're back at the convention center. I think those doors are open. Are we able to walk through? It's really hot right now, so if we can, we wanna walk in some air condition. Fortunately, there was no way through the building, which doesn't make sense because this is a huge building. You think you could walk all the way through to the other side, but no, there's a big old wall there. Now we gotta walk on the outside and back in. Finally made it to the air-conditioned convention center. And just that walk alone, I think I burned off my breakfast, so I'm probably gonna have to buy another thing. I always forget that I get really hungry after I take a dump. So the upside of having a pretty good metabolism is that I can eat a lot of food, burn a lot of calories. The downside is burn a lot of calories, and I feel, I guess, hypoglycemic pretty easily. Decided to get a hot dog because we're not playing for another two hours. And I also inspired Chris to get a hot dog there. <laughs> <laughs> we finally made it. Sound of USA, it's been so long. The best part about coming early is you get to watch a lot of good volleyball and just absorb the environment. Ooh, nice short serve. This is where the future starts right here. I think this might be like a 45s or a 50s division. These guys can still ball. So this is Team Inferno. We played them at the VLA Chicago. It's some good competition. And I recognize some people from VLA on that side from New York Pride. That was a big stuff block. Even though we're refing first, I'm not playing for a while. I'm gonna put on these cap sleeves because they actually do help you stay loose and warm even when you're not moving, which I really like. And then maybe on day two or three, I'll probably put on the knee sleeves when my upper legs start getting sore.
So of course, walking around and met a new friend here. Hi, I'm Sammy Gibson. He just had a great story about one, just being a Haikyuu fan, but also a lot of great proverbs from that anime, but also another good volleyball player. So you want to explain the tattoo you got? Yes. In season two, when Oba Josai is playing Karasuno and Oikawa is making the fall away set, and he says, talent something you make bloom, instinct something you polish. Favorite character, favorite moment in the in the show. It's so realistic for volleyball players to watch and relate to. I mean, everything. The technique, but also the story writing, the characters, it's its really incredible. It is. Thanks for saying Yeah, that. of course. So everything's a little bit delayed right now, and we've been like warming up, pulling down, warming up, pulling down. And that's tough because you don't want to spend too much energy, but you also don't want to come on cold. So I feel myself already burning a lot of calories, so I'm actually going to eat one of my Snickers bars. Always good to keep emergency energy in your gym bag for situations like this. I have smoothies and other things, but I don't want to use them until kind of mid-game because those are really, really quick sugars and you get your vitamins and minerals which you need to kind of in-game for the recovery process as well. We're waiting for this game to finish up here. And we got James carrying the, the pregnant baby. <laughs> Take it off, Chris. Oh, no, Take Let's it off. Let's go, Wyoming volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> We want to make sure we stay kind of supportive of each other and just kind of keep that good energy going. We're going to get some cheers, feel free to join in, but that's a good way to kind of us sink in. After every point, we want to come into the center, touch everyone, just for like one or two moments, just to kind of reset ourselves, okay? Let's beat these young guys. Let's guys, go. they touch very high. Yeah. Like and they, they swing very, very low too, so. which is good for us. Yeah. Yeah. Tall ones, one, two, three, tall, tall ones! ones. find it today so we can do well tomorrow, right? So yeah. keep, keep taking those risks. I don't think this team is going to be quite as good as the other, but they're still competitive. Yeah. They were very yeah. easily they, keeping up with that last game. They took a set from those yeah. guys, so yeah. right. well. play our best yeah. at all Keep times. aggressive on your swings. Mm. Let's go. Alright, that's it. Tall ones on three. One, two, three. Tall, tall ones! ones. Great job, guys. It just looks smoother, right? That's yeah, what we yeah. want. Thomas on three. One, two, three. Thomas! We'll make sure you find me something. Yeah, just find me on the uh, system. What court are you guys going to be on? I'll see if I can catch something. Thanks for coming out. If I make it through enough, I'll try to catch 430 sleepers. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool name. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're going to sleep tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good games. Thank you. All right, what's your name? Okay. Moises. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? New York. New York. Cool. How are you guys doing so far? Nice. Good vision. Kill it, man. Sorry, yeah, good luck, yeah, good luck. I'm sorry, Chris, but uh, that's how it matters. Like, a whole two inches taller than that. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, you guys want to share the titles for the final? We prefer to split it. We got to hold on. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Of course, he's the momentum of that last, and you know we went down eight to three. Let's not do that again. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say, let's remember the back to that and just win the whole thing. Let's get some high yas, guys. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. High yas on three. One, two, three. High Man, good for you, man. And, and now after three years, stop bowling when I try to you know, cash it up again. It's hard. Yeah. You gotta get back. I mean, a lot of good local leagues, so. Hey, hey you're doing a great job. Thank I you. use all your videos to, use to help my kids, you know, to develop full work, yeah. you know, even the, the run of the rotation, I think you have to, oh, good. to be. It, it's so easy for them that they get it. Okay. Rotation is so hard to teach, so that's yeah. why I felt like I needed to do it. So. Right, it's an awesome job. Awesome job. Yeah. Thank you, Evan. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, man, of course. Oh, thank you. You're so tall, I had to. <laughs> cool. hey, nice meeting you, man. Tomorrow, hopefully, good. we'll see you in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah hopefully, hopefully. Day one, yeah. USAB, man. Uh, always feels so good. <laughs> We're just saying how you know the libero position is important. Grant, his service team is so steady. His leadership too, also his second setting. We actually lost a good amount of opportunities today from just like the libero not staking. And it's tough, I mean, it's a totally different mindset and not always there. Just finished that last game. We had a chance to really take that to three. That was a tough loss. We talked about what combination is gonna work the best. I think me playing the libero is gonna be the best option. The ironic thing is the whole reason why I actually formed this team is so I can play outside hitter. <laughs> because every team I play on wants to put me as a barrel because I'm undersized, but gotta do what's best for the team and I think that's gonna give us the most hitting opportunities. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go up and take a shower and meet up for some food and some drink. I mean, ignoring that we happened to win when you were a libero, we did just play more fluid volleyball. Yeah. As long as you're okay with that, with your promotion to libero. <laughs> <laughs> promotion. You know, I think it's worth giving a shot. So. How'd it feel today, James, recording with the heavy equipment and all that? It was a lot of fun, actually, to just kind of see this high level of volleyball, indoor, in person, and to see you play, it's, it's really cool. Cool. Got some good shots. The key to not having smelly gear is you gotta air things out as soon as you get back to your room. If you need to spray some Lysol to disinfect, even the shoes, very easy to keep these in the backpack and it just kind of festers all that nasty stuff. So you gotta air it out and I take pride in not having smelly gear. Even though we're going to dinner, <laughs> Sometimes I get really hungry at tournaments and I don't want to spend all this money at the restaurant. So I'm going to go to the Regency Club where they actually provide free dinner for Hyatt members. And Brant is a Hyatt member, so we booked our room so we get all this free food. I'm going to load up some food for Chris and me so that if we end up getting hungry after an expensive dinner, we come back and chow down. So let's see what they got. Hello. Let's see what they got. Fresh veggies, some dips, Ooh. cheeses, meats. This looks amazing. Oh yeah, red velvet cake, panna cotta. Is that fried chicken, buffalo wings? Man. So unfortunately, they don't have any to-go boxes, so I'm gonna get myself a little appetizer here. Apparently this is cheese, but we got a nice variety of some Italian meats here. Hummus with a beautiful view. So I have been trained in the Asian arts of packing food to go where you're not supposed to, especially from buffets. So let me show you what we got. The meats and cheeses were good. You think this is coffee? Nope. It's a cup of cheese. You think this is tea? Nope. Cured meats. And it just straight up walked out. This wrapped it in a napkin. This is like the panna cotta, I think, with a raspberry. Can't wait to snack on this tonight after dinner. All right, we're walking to dinner and Brant was nice enough to order us some milk tea. And I wasn't expecting to get some good milk tea in Florida, but this is actually pretty good. Good strong tea flavor, boba soft, and it's really hot right now. So this is very refreshing with all the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, what'd you get? <laughs> good question. I got the mango smoothie. Yes. It is on point. Very good. Very good. <laughs> this is the first take. That is. The reason why we're laughing is because we just did that whole sequence 
and I forgot to press record, so we had to re-record that whole thing. <laughs> Welcome to the life of content creating. So we found another restaurant, Yard House, and it's just nice to walk around in the city, explore. Got really good vibes in Orlando. Even if we aren't playing super well, it's just fun to hang out with everybody. So we've been roaming the streets of Orlando looking for a place to eat. Tonight is NBA playoffs, so every restaurant has like a one to two hour wait. And we're really excited to try this Bahama Breeze here. A lot of live music, but this is where you're grateful for franchise is like Olive Garden, so we're gonna have to eat some authentic Italian food there. But it's good carbs, lots of protein, and we get salad, so can't complain about that. There's only a 20, 30 minute wait, so we get to eat. So unfortunately, we weren't able to get a table because they don't take reservations, so we're trying to get seated at the bar here. But luckily, two free bar tables finally freed up. Unfortunately, we're sitting pretty far away from our team, so there's everybody else. It's me and Anthony. It's nice enjoying our blue moons, but we're hungry. The angel hair with the five cheese marinara, grilled chicken. All garden is, salad is really yummy. We've been munching on these breadsticks. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but I already got my Asian glow going. I'm starving. This is it right here. I like a lot of cheese. It's a good thing I got plenty. Five more seconds. Perfect. Thank you. All right, we got to test this out here. Got the fresh cheese. Mix it around. Lots of carbs, cheese, protein, high fiber from the salad. This is the spot. So this is what happens when you go to a volleyball tournament and you have my metabolism. Kill this, got some pasta to go, and I'm ready for ice cream now. This is such a cool building. It's upside down. And then we got the uh, civil engineer analyzing how factual this building is upside down. So you guys know me, I burn tons of calories at these tournaments. So here's my nighttime snack before I shut down. I love cereal. Saved this from the Regency Club earlier this morning. Got Honey Nut Cheerios. Gonna crunch on this for a little bit. Always end up staying up later than we anticipate, but it's because we're having a good time. We had a really cool conference call with Brant, Chris, and me. We're kind of like the core of the team and we decide the direction of the team and just making plans for next year since this is our last tournament of the year. We got our summer league coming up, so that was a really good talk. Honestly, today was just super frustrating. I don't think we've played that poorly in a long time. If you haven't seen the full game, Yet, you gotta watch that first match. It was ugly. It was so bad. And the worst part is, I think that's when we had the most number of fans watching us play. <laughs> they're like watching us play on these videos, and they're like, oh, these guys aren't that good in person. He must make a lot of highlight videos. I promise I don't. But our first day, our strategy was just to test out everything on day one because this is the best time to do it, right? We want to see which combination works the best. We had Julian play the barrel game one, then me game two, and then Zach game three. I mean, we ended up seeming to be a little smoother with game two, more hitting opportunities. Didn't work out with the other combinations and we definitely could have won that third match uh, but just the same thing we just couldn't close out I mean it's just how it goes we can't really help the situation I mean I just still feel really bad for Brant that he can't even play with us and has to watch from his room what's going on so I mean just at the end of the day he's the one that gets the short end of the stick of this experience but it's good information for future years we had a really great team dinner and you know playing libero Actually, I'll let Chris share his words. I think you hit the nail right on the head. I think the first match was really, really bad. I was first feeling really optimistic because I felt like I was playing really, really well. Mm -hmm. I was surprised for myself how well I was playing. And then as the match went on, as the game went on, and it's like 20 to 13, I'm like, ugh, something's not clicking, our passing isn't good, and it got me a little down, but then I felt hopeful, because I know Donnie is like always giving the extra effort, he's always on the floor, so I, I had optimism that him at Libero was gonna be really good. And so going into that, into our, our, next, our next match, like the, the team we played, they, they barely lost in three to the team that de destroyed us in the first match. And having Donnie as libero, we, we beat them in three. So I think that definitely was our best combination. And, and our last match today, you know, like in our conference call with Brandt, there's small little things that liberos do that you really take for granted. So that really stuck out to me. So I definitely appreciate Brandt a lot, even yeah. more now yeah. <laughs> after this experience. Even though today wasn't like the greatest volleyball, I think that that match two that we won and how we won is something to build on. So I feel optimistic about tomorrow yeah. for that reason. So. 
It's a good way to put it. We also uh, made sure we spent time talking to our significant others late at night. <laughs> Otherwise, we won't be allowed back at these tournaments. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just like ready to play libero. I have to get in that mindset. There's a different type of aggression. I mean, the nice thing about libero is that you don't have to think about hitting afterward. So I can fully take myself out of the hitting play if I know I can get the pass down. And then I'm excited to be a backup setter. Got to figure out my serving because I'm not warm. You guys saw how many serves I missed today. I'm usually really consistent with my jump serve, but that's because I'm hitting. So we got to figure that out. Maybe accept that I'm not going to be jumping as high since I'm not fully jumping warm and hit a little flatter and deeper with my jump serve instead of trying to get on top of it. But yeah, looking forward to some more good games and um, hopefully we can figure it out before the end of the tournament and, and still get into gold division. We'll see you guys tomorrow and we're definitely eating the Regency Club breakfast. <laughs>